Scorpios, what's going on? Hope all of you are doing well. I know it's been a minute. Uh, I do apologize. Um, it's the wrong deck. I had some things going on, so uh, I know it's been a couple months, I think, since I did your reading, but we're going to do a uh, general reading, see what we get. Uh, these are timeless, so if you find this a couple months from now and um, it resonates, then you're meant to see it at that time. Okay, no worries. I do offer personal readings. You can find the info for those uh, on my website. It's lisasreadings.net. It's also linked in that description box, okay? So we're going to take a look at uh, recent past, current, and future energies as well, and then we'll clarify, okay? So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Messages for Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse, Ooh, Tower. Ten of Swords, Magician in the center of your reading. So some of you may be working on manifesting things into your life. Seven of Wands in reverse, the Sun. So a lot of you right now are Feeling pretty happy. Three of swords in reverse. Good. And the emperor. Your overall energy is the hermit. Uh, so this is Virgo energy. You might be kind of spending a lot of time by yourself, taking a little break, doing some like introspection, you know, introspection is that how you say it <laughs> um you know maybe working on yourself working on healing kind of listening to uh, any inner guidance that you might have okay as opposed to things that are external your recent past eight of pentacles in reverse ten of swords and the sun so this to me feels like you kind of you quit putting the effort into something or uh it could be even though maybe you were working too hard or working a lot but it more it feels like you released something okay maybe you released some some pain from the past um because you've got the sun card here okay and that's you can't get a better card. That's the happiest card in the tarot deck. This Ten of Swords, this is getting over pain, uh, ending a, a difficult cycle, um, maybe getting rid of some anxiety that you had, okay? And it's kind of looking towards the future. Uh, your current energies, you may not feel like you're being recognized for something, or maybe you feel like somebody's not noticing you or even ignoring you. Um, and then you have the magician, like I said, center of your reading. This is working on manifesting what you want in your life, okay? Um, and then three of swords in reverse. Getting over some kind of pain, okay? Getting over maybe some heartbreak, uh, some heartache, and I feel like you've been doing this for a little for a little period of time, okay? I don't feel like this getting over this pain is something new for you. I feel like you've been doing that, okay? Near future, the tower, big change, okay? Tower, that's the universe kind of coming in to do some house cleaning, okay? Um, changing things around, switching things up. You know, you end up going like, what the hell's going on here? Um, that's what the tower moment is. Seven of wands in reverse. Hmm. Uh, maybe you'll need to protect yourself, uh, for some reason in the future. We'll clarify. And then the emperor is coming in. Okay. This is major for Aries. It's some fire energy. It's kind of, uh, it's a powerful card. 
and it's about kind of being assertive, going after what you want, okay? It can also represent a father figure to you. So we'll see what we get when I clarify. Uh, I'm going to start with your recent past. We're going to start with this uh, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This could even be uh, job-related. Maybe you quit a job, uh, something to that effect. Maybe you were having difficulties at the job. So let's see, why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Here, fine. We. Okay, that's <laughs> Virgo energy, Hierophant, that's commitment, um, contracts, could even be a mentor, spiritual mentor, and then I'm not taking this one here, an eight of pentacles in reverse again, two eight of pentacles, this one's clarifying the first one, what are the odds, okay. So when this happens, this is kind of, this is my spirit guide saying this is important, okay? Especially because you've got this here font here is sandwiched between two eight of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this feels to me like you're, you either still are or you were in some kind of there was a commitment involved here, okay? Uh, a commitment or a contract. And it feels like, like I said, you quit putting the effort in or you quit putting the time in, okay? Something about this here changed. Something about this dynamic changed for you. Um, and you, it's kind of like a, a release of energy. It's almost like you released it for some reason. Okay. Uh, if it resonates for you, great. You know what it means. Okay. That's all that matters is that you know what it means. And it could mean different things for, for, you know, for different Scorpios. So let's go on to 10 of swords. And this 10 of swords, I feel is related to this release here. Um, the ending of some kind of cycle, possibly difficult, Two of Swords. Okay, that's making a decision, uh, kind of taking off those blindfolders. There was a there was a decision that you had to make. Yeah, and it so it gave you a lot of anxiety at the time. Okay, when you were trying to uh, make this decision. You're all in a different timeline. Maybe some of you are dealing with this right now. Okay. Maybe some of you already did. Depends on your timeline. Uh, but I feel like it was a difficult decision that it, it really gave you a lot of anxiety. Could be why your overall energy is the hermit. Okay. Uh, I feel like a lot of you had to really dig down uh, and really ask yourself, what the best decision was for you but then we have the sun card so for those of you that made that decision it seems like it worked out well because you have the sun and now you have the hangman hangman more similar to the hermit energy okay it's it's a relaxed type of energy the hangman though is still in a state of it's an, an energy of being observant, okay? It's an energy of, like, taking a step back to see the bigger picture. Let me get another one on that. Ten of Wands in reverse, okay. So I feel like some of you, what happened was, you know, you were trying to make up your mind about something here. Is giving you a lot of anxiety. Couldn't make up your mind. Um, you kind of looked at the bigger picture, made that decision, and when you did that, it released a lot of weight. Okay, it was kind of like a the weight off your shoulders. Ten of Wands in reverse. That's releasing of that burden. Okay. 
so I feel like it really released a burden when you made that decision. So your current energy, six of wands in the reverse, could be not, not feeling noticed or appreciated. Let's see. Nine of wands in reverse. It's kind of letting your guard down. Let's see what else? Ooh, four of wands. What you got going, Scorpio? Okay. <laughs> um, four of wands, that's foundational energy. Okay. It's the building of a foundation. Either for yourself, with somebody else. There's something or someone you put your guard down, okay? I feel like you you let your guard down um, in order to work on building something uh, something stable in your life, okay? Uh, working on, like, the building blocks of something, which ties in with the magician. Let's see, why is that here? And it's in the center of your reading, which means that's also important. Uh, clarify the magician, please. Yeah, too many cards came out. I'm not taking those. Three of Cups. Okay, that can be just letting loose, um, hanging out with friends. Seven of Wands in reverse for the second time. Seven of Wands in reverse for the second time. That's kind of letting down your guard, letting um, kind of taking down the walls, you know, uh, so to speak. Letting people into your space. So I feel like some of you are really working on Kind of expanding your awareness into um, coming out of this hermit mode, okay? For those of you that have been in it for a bit, um, and even maybe, maybe you're typically an introvert. It almost feels like kind of saying to yourself, I'm going to put myself out there, going to let my guard down, I'm going to let people into my space. Um, I'm going to meet new people. It feels like that to me. That's what it feels like. Okay. So let's see. Three of swords in reverse. Why is this here? This is that getting over some pain or heartache. Seven of cups in reverse. There's some confusion here about options. Okay. Way too many cards. What is going on? Um, there's some confusion about having options. Shh. Look at that. This is the second time this has happened. So we had it up here with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Same card, two different decks, okay? With the Hierophant sandwich in between. Uh, now we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, which is can be some confusion, Okay. Uh, can be a release of confusion or realizing you have options. And this is clarifying this Three of Swords in reverse. And then you have Seven of Cups in reverse. And clarifying that is the Three of Wands in reverse again. So this is another important um, energy here. Okay. I think for some of you, if you're getting over some heartbreak or heartache, some pain, it's kind of realizing like, and that, now if this has to do with the relationship, it's kind of like realizing, well, you know, I've got options. There's other fish in the sea. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to release this, get over this pain and kind of move on. All right. So now we're going to go into your future energies, and we start out with the tower. So there's going to be a change, okay? There's going to be a big one. Let's see. Why is the tower here? Ace of Swords and Reverse. Okay, there may be somebody that 
is not honest with you in the future, okay? There may be somebody who will be unwilling to tell you the truth about something, okay? With that Ace of Swords uh, in reverse. Okay, two come out, came out, so I'm going to go with them. Hermit again, but it's in reverse, which means good, okay? You're coming out of that um, introspective energy wheel of fortune lots of change so something's going to happen to propel a big change in your life because you've got the tower and now you have the wheel of fortune which again is the ending of a cycle beginning of new cycles okay wheel of fortune spinning that wheel of fate okay uh creating kind of your own destiny now the seven of wands is in reverse which is Kind of where I said you're letting people into your space, okay? You can see here she's created a bubble around herself, all right? The bubble of protection. Yours here is in reverse, which means you're you're kind of you're you're opening up that bubble for for some reason, okay? For a, a specific reason or a specific person, um, for some healing. Why is the seven of wands here? I feel like a lot of your reading is about releasing the past, okay? Releasing the other energies. Yep, queen of wands. Fire energy, again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, not being afraid of to get what you want, okay? Kind of stepping up and being more assertive. The queen could also represent someone you know. They don't have to be a fire sign. It could just be, you know, their, uh, how they are, okay? More assertive, more, um, most of the time like to be in control of things. And then three of wands in the reverse. Again, the wands are coming out in reverse, which is a, a, a letting go of that energy. Okay. Now we have the emperor. We're going to see why this is here. Uh, this is really um, powerful energy. Okay. It could refer to a boss, a father figure. Uh, somebody more assertive, in control of things, okay? Knows what they want, not afraid to get it. Major for Aries. Two of Wands, okay? So two of Wands in the upright. It's looking towards the future, making a decision about which way to go, which path to take. And then Three of Pentacles working, yeah. See, it's like, I feel like you're working on working with other people, so this Three of Pentacles is coming in with the Emperor. This could even mean a new job for some of you or a new career, uh, career okay? Or even starting your own business. Because even starting your own business, you know, most of the time you have to work with other people. There's some teamwork involved uh, for the most part. So it could even be uh, related to that for some of you. Let me get one more on that. I feel like I need one more. Temperance in reverse. So temperance, that's it's healing energy, it's balance, it's patience. Um, some of you, if this involves a job, um, it could mean this is gonna take a little bit of time. Okay, it's it's something it needs the right timing, whatever this is, okay. It's kind of like an in due time, in due time, okay? Everything happens for a reason at the right time type of energy. Ooh, and right after that, we have the devil. Capricorn energy, this is kind of feeling tied to something. So, and it came right after this temperance in reverse. Uh, so the devil can be some... Toxic energy can be yours or someone else's. It can be feeling chained to something. Um, 
I feel for some of you, this involves either a job or your career, okay? And it's kind of like you want to leave the job or maybe even starting your own business, but you feel tied to something, okay? Which is where this devil energy would come in with the temperance in reverse. So it's kind of like uh, not feeling patient enough, not waiting for the right time, okay? So keep that in mind. Let me get some advice from Spirit on this. But what advice do you have for Scorpio, please? Advice for Scorpio. The Fool. Aries again. It's about taking a leap of faith. Okay. Uh, even when, I shouldn't say even, usually when we don't know the outcome. So the fool, it's the first card in the tarot deck. It's a it's a naive, youthful type of energy. When you're young, you know, you you just want to go for it. You're not thinking about consequences. You're just doing it. Okay. It's just like just do it kind of energy. Queen of Cups in reverse. Uh, some of you may get over emotional at times. Um, but this is your energy, okay? Because you are your water energy. Uh, Queen of Cups is is your energy, but it's in reverse here. So it's kind of like a, for some of you, I feel like this is kind of um, needing to show your emotions, okay? Um, not holding them in as much, kind of expressing your emotions more. Uh, and I feel like it's going along with this fool card here. Um, it can also mean tapping in more to your intuition. Queen of Cups in the upright, you know, that's a very intuitive card. For me, it's very closely linked to the High Priestess, especially with this deck, um, the Light Seer's Tarot. You see how she's holding out her hands, feeling the energy, tapping in um, with this in reverse. Um, it may be an in inability to do that, but it's coming in with the Fool card, which is kind of taking a leap of faith. So some of you may be afraid to kind of tap into your emotions or, or express your emotions. And I feel like I need to say that it's okay to do that, okay? It's okay to take this leap of faith. It's okay to tune in to what you want, tune in to what you feel, okay? And it's and again, it's going along with the Hermit energy of putting down the lantern, okay, which is down here, to find your own inner light, okay? It's kind of relying on that internal compass, all right? Thank you, Spirit. That was the word I needed. Compass. Internal. <laughs> internal compass. You have it. You're a water sign. Okay? You already have that. Um, some of you may be having a hard time really tuning into that. Really listening. Okay? Uh, kind of quieting your mind and just listening um, for guidance on which direction to go. Uh, guidance on how to manifest what it is you want in your life. So I feel like that is Spirit's message here for you, okay? So hopefully this did resonate for some of you. If it did, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Take care, guys.